my beautiful people welcome back to yet another video starting this week off with a great bang i have some really great opportunities that i want to bring to you from triple a themselves if you're not familiar with triple a they are a major insurance company they provide a whole slew of different things insurance roadside assistance travel so they have a lot of different sectors and they are nationwide in the united states now of course we're going to be going over the triple a roles but i do have a bonus role as well for you guys that i will be going over so make sure you stay tuned for the bonus role so you don't miss out on anything we're also going to be going over tier level review roles which means we will be going over some roles that require more education and or experience and then we also are going to have lower tier roles that require less education and or experience and most of those will be entry level so let's get into these great remote opportunities i love to bring you guys as many remote opportunities as possible to help you leverage yourself in this remote workforce so if you're new to my channel welcome here on the money moves with ange channel we dive all the way into all of these great remote quality opportunities that fit within your lifestyle and that are super duper lucrative with high pay if you are interested in videos like this make sure you do subscribe so let's get into the very first role that I do have for you today. This one is their claim service representative number three role. The great thing that I do like about AAA is they are nationwide. So you can literally live in multiple different places and they are going to have opportunities no matter where you're sitting, okay? This specific role is within their special investigations unit. And what the special investigation unit is, is basically they handle complex claims. They handle people who are lying with claims right so if they think fraudulent information has been provided or a fraudulent claim somebody saying they had an accident really didn't have an accident or had an accident before they got the insurance those sorts of things that's when the special investigation claims unit gets involved so you will be handling way higher complex claims within this specific role getting more into the details of what you'll be doing on the day-to-day -day, they do have here that you will investigate evaluate and negotiate complex claims and use your independent judgment to ensure that you're compliant and that you're also following state and federal laws. Now also they do have that the position requires both technical and leadership skills and you may have to also monitor and train other personnel. So this role is definitely for a more seasoned claim adjuster or someone who has been in claims and insurance and understands that process. They are looking for four years of a college degree or or equivalent combination of education and experience. So you could have a high school diploma and have been in the insurance industry for three, four years and still get the job. You don't need the degree to qualify for this job or to get the job. It's just a plus if you do have it. If not, they will definitely take you with your experience and having a high school diploma. Now, if you do have evidence of continuing education in the industry and in insurance, having any certificates, or if you have an adjuster's license, that is a plus it's a desire that they have but you don't need it to get the job now they do have here that you will have three to five years of experience handling complex casualty hit or medical pay coverage okay which is just the medical portion of auto insurance policies and property claims once again i did say that this is for a more seasoned claims adjuster or claims personnel person so if you have been in insurance you already know all of these great things now, if you're entry level, I do have some entry level roles that we will be going over shortly, but I did want to bring this to anyone who has been seasoned within the insurance industry. Now, as we get into other roles throughout the video, I do want to make sure that if you're not already subscribed, that you do subscribe to the family by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the notification bell and clicking all so you can be notified every single time I post new videos with brand new roles and you don't miss out on these great, great options opportunities I would not want you to miss something that's so phenomenal that really fits within your lifestyle so make sure you are locked in here on YouTube if you're entry level I have something super special down in the description box specifically for you guys it is my free job title list it is a completely free resource for you that will help you be able to really hone in on jobs that are targeted towards entry level job seekers and it really helps you eliminate a whole bunch of time going through job descriptions just to find out 
felt that the job is requiring a whole lot of experience or education. I don't want you guys wasting time doing that at all. I want you to be able to apply for as many jobs as you possibly can. So that job title list is going to help you be able to identify jobs that are already targeting entry-level job seekers literally by just looking at the job title. So make sure you get that very free resource down in the pinned comments and in the description box. Now moving down into more of what they're requiring, they do have that you must be able to identify suspicious loss indicators. And that means just anything that may brighten your eyes or hit a light bulb in your head that way something isn't right about this claim. You'll need working knowledge of investigation resources, tools, and techniques. So if you are in the insurance industry, some of those things would be ISO, LexisNexis. These are also the hot keywords that you want to put on your resume. You want to use keywords like LexisNexis, ISO searching, even this. These are hot keywords, you guys, okay? So you always want to make sure when you're redeveloping your resume that you're including really great keywords that are also in the description, but that are also industry specific. So for this one, casualty, PIP and medical pay and property claims, they're all going to be major keywords that you want to put on your resume that's going to allow the hiring manager or the recruiter to understand that you're great for the job. You also want to add complex claims, right? So complex claim knowledge, complex claim validations, those kinds of things, complex claims, investigations. So it really highlights that you have the experience and you will be a great fit for the position. Don't forget those hot keywords, okay? Make sure y'all definitely get to the hot keywords and put those in your resume. I'll also give you guys other keywords as we go through the rest of the job descriptions. Definitely hit me up in the comments with a fire emoji so you can definitely let me know if you do like when I go over what hot keywords to use in your resume. Now they do have some of the basic qualifications here, which is like critical thinking, being customer focused, really being able to handle claims with quality, being resourceful, really thinking to that next level, having technical functions and expertise and a slew of other things. They do have that you will need a valid driver's license with level of financial responsibility required by the club and an acceptable motor vehicle record. Now the starting pay for this role is $33 up to $44 an hour, which is paying really, really, really great, you guys really great. The great thing is this role is hiring in multiple different locations. So if you are interested, definitely make sure you get over as soon as possible and apply. Some of the benefits that you will get is their medical dental vision of 401k with the company match. And they also do offer a pension. So you can literally participate in both. You cannot beat that. Tuition reimbursement assistance. And they do also offer a PTO for community volunteer programs, the wellness program. You get an employee discount account as well for triple A services. So it's really a great opportunity if you do have that insurance background and that claims handling experience, definitely get over and apply as soon as possible so you don't miss out on this premier opportunity. Now moving into the next role that I have for you guys, this one is their call center representative roadside assistance role. This role is also hiring in multiple different locations. So definitely when you get to the career side, Make sure you are looking. They're all remote, but they are hiring in multiple different locations and apply to the best one that fits you. Now, getting down into this specific role, it is more of an entry level role. So they are starting off with the pay of $18.85 per hour. You'll also get a weekend shift differential rate of 10%, which brings it up to $20.74 per hour. Now, remember that this is a beginning rate. If you do have prior customer service, or customer focus experience, you want to showcase that. Not only on your resume, but when you do the interview, you want to showcase your customer experience because as I always say, they always budget a higher amount than you ever see on these actual job descriptions. So you always have room to negotiate your rate. You can say, hey, I have a year of experience. I have two years of experience, three years. I'm really looking to start off at this amount, $20 an hour, $21 an hour. I'm already getting paid at $20. I would love to be a part of AAA, which is a premier company and really be able to come in and add value day one. However, this specific dollar amount is what I'm going to need in order to be able to bring my great skill set and my experience into the company. Okay.
okay? Now, for this specific rule, they do have full-time availability. It is going to be an afternoon or evening shift, okay? Including weekends and some holidays. So keep that in mind. This is great for all the people who have been asking, do you have anything in the evenings? Do you have anything that is later in the day? Those kinds of things. If you like to sleep in a bed late, if you like to sleep late and not wake up until the afternoon, this might be a great opportunity for you. They also do offer growth and advancement within AAA. So a really phenomenal, great job to definitely get locked into. Some of the things they have here that you will be doing is answering phone calls for members regarding emergency roadside assistance. You'll be doing some things like talking to them, making sure that they're on the side of the road in a safe place, getting their actual location so you can then dispatch somebody to them, accent marker places like where are you, what do you see, those kinds of things so you can get the person directly to them and really being able to have a really compassionate composure as you will be talking to people when they are kind of in distress situations. So just keep that in mind as well. Now the work from home requirements that they have here is just having a dedicated quiet work environment, having that really hardwired internet, not like a hotspot off of your phone or a Wi-Fi box, you need hardwired internet, being able to be productive and confidential in a remote setting, attending their team meetings and training sessions virtually, and being available during their standard business hours and being flexible with the shift adjustments. Now, what they do have here is if you do have prior customer service experience, that's great. If you have prior call center experience, that's a plus, but it's not needed. If you're bilingual and you do speak Spanish as well, that's also a plus. You're going to definitely need to have really great customer service skills and be able to handle a high volume of calls. Be really great with your communication skills verbally and written. Have empathy when you're on the phone, when talking the people be able to maneuver within a computer and multitask at the same time because you will be on the phone and typing and dispatching and doing other things understanding maps and gps and traffic safety rules being proficient in microsoft teams and outlook and having a high school diploma or gd now the benefits that you get are the medical the dental the vision and life insurance the 401k savings plan with a company match for this specific role so this is really a great opportunity if you have a little customer service under your belt and you're looking to get with a major, major company, one thing I love to bring you guys is really major companies that's going to up-level your resume, right? You get in the door, you work for them for some time and just having them on your resume gives you a different kind of boost in this career market, I'm telling you guys. So definitely, if you're interested, get over and apply for this call center representative role with AAA. Getting into the very next role, this is a similar role, the different difference is this is a customer service representative role within their insurance department. So you'll be handling more insurance calls versus the roadside assistance calls. But we're going to get more into that in one minute. First, I want to go over some of the things that they do have here and go over the pay for this role. So they do have outstanding benefits and growth opportunities. We'll go over the benefits in a second. This role is paying $21 to $23 an hour to start. So of course, as you continue in the role, you'll get different kind of increases, bonuses, those kinds of things. They have paid training, but it is on site for this role in Houston, Texas from 9 a.m. to 5.45 p.m. So for all of my Texas folks, this would be a great opportunity. If you are not in Houston, Texas, then definitely there are other roles with the same exact job title on their site. Look in your location to see if they have a role available and apply for that specific role. Now, what I do like about this one is they are giving you a thousand dollar bonus if you are hired with a verified active property and casualty license. So if you are licensed in property and casualty, they are definitely trying to get you in the door, all right? If you're more so entry level, I do have more of an entry level role that we will be going over shortly, but I did wanna bring this to anyone who is already in the claims or insurance industry that does have that licensing, this would be a great opportunity for you if you do live in Texas. And if not, like I said, they have this in other states states. Now, they do have that the training is 17 weeks long and 100% on site. Upon completion of the training, you will begin working from home. It does have here that you must live within 30 miles of their Houston, Texas location, which is here. So definitely check that out. Some of the things you'll be doing is working directly with customers through getting inbound phone calls regarding their insurance. It can be many different reasons why they're calling, but you will be trained really, really extensively 
specifically on how to answer these phone calls. What they do have down here is you will need prior customer service experience. You must be able to work between the hours of 11 a.m. and 8 p.m. and working every other Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So keep that in mind. You will also need to have the regular communication skills, be able to multitask, be proficient with computers, have a high school diploma or equivalent like a GED and be able to pass a background check and drug test because you are going to be dealing with insurance. And if this is not something you can do or you don't want to have to go through the licensing process or you don't have a license, definitely check out the previous role. They do not require all of the other things that this one does require. But because you are dealing with insurance for this specific role, they are heavily mandated by the Insurance and Banking Commission in the state. So for insurance, they do have certain regulations that they do have to abide by. And with that, you cannot have a background or anything like that when you're dealing with insurance. It's similar to the banking industry where you do have to definitely not have any prior issues on your background and be able to pass that drug test. Now, the benefits that they have, you will get the medical, the dental, the vision, the 401k, tuition reimbursement, PTO time, wellness program, employee discounts. So if you are interested in this specific role for the insurance customer service representative with AAA, definitely get over and apply. Now, moving over into my very next role, this role is with the company called Cox. Cox is a healthcare information management company that provides a variety of services regarding release of information that has to do with health information. So medical records, those kinds of things, they help bridge the gap between the patients and then the providers. Getting into the role that I had with them, this one is their health information specialist number one role. They're also hiring this role in multiple locations. So check this out. The starting pay is $16 up to $19 an hour, of course, depending on your experience and what you've done within your career in the past. So what you will be doing on your day-to-day -day is receiving and processing requests for patient health information for medical records. You'll maintain confidentiality and security. You'll review the medical release documents to make sure all of them are there so that you can release the information. You'll definitely have to abide by and be compliant with HIPAA standards. They also do have here that you will be creating creating digital images, patient records. You'll be answering inbound and outbound phone calls. You may assist patient walk-ins. You may assist with administrative duties such as handling facts, opening mail, and data entry. You may have to also schedule some pickups and things of that nature. The qualifications that they do have here, it does state that you have to be able to commute between locations as needed, but this is a fully remote position. It is 100% remote US, okay? So do not worry it seems like they may have taken this job description and just slapped it on every single job posting with the title. But remember, when you go onto the site to apply for the job, you want to check out the one that says U.S. Remote. Don't do the remote in certain locations. Do U.S. Remote. That way, it will be definitely remote no matter where you're sitting. Now, they do have here that you do need to be able to work overtime during peak seasons when required. Be proficient with computers, fax machines, printers, things of that nature have real good communication skills, be detailed oriented, have strong data entry skills, be able to work with minimum supervision and handle multiple tasks. Now, preferred and plus qualifications. If you have experience in a healthcare field, that's great. If you have previous production work experience, that's also great. If you have previous customer service experience and you understand how to build relationships, that's great. And also being comfortable bringing new ideas, process improvements and suggestions to the team. So if you are interested in this role, once again, this one is their health information specialist number one role with Cox Healthcare. Definitely get over and apply. Now, if none of these roles really align with what you're looking for, hit me up in the comments and let me know so I can bring more job leads specifically that are tailored for your needs. In addition to that, if you're not already a part of the family, definitely make sure you become a part of the family right this minute by subscribing to the channel, turning that 
bell notification on and clicking all so you can be notified each and every time I drop new videos with brand new roles and you don't miss out on anything. In addition to that, if you are entry level, make sure you do get your free copy of my job title list that is down in the description box and the pinned comment. That list will help you be able to literally identify very quickly the entry level jobs that are out on the job market that are really looking for entry level job seekers. The job title list will take all of the guesswork out of whether or not this job is way over qualifying or if I can apply for it with no experience or being entry level into this specific field. Okay. It prevents all of that. It also prevents you from having to go through all of these job descriptions just to find out that they're asking for all of this experience and education. We don't want you wasting any time. So the job title list will help you literally identify job titles that are geared towards entry level workers. And that will help you be able to apply to more jobs. So make sure you get that very free resource down in the description box or a pinned comment. Until next time, make sure you continue to thrive and reach for those great old career goals. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.